Hello guys, so I'm back with uh, Champ and Nick and uh, yes. I'm going to put this Lego project together yep. known as a 3D printer, an yep. Ender Pro 3. Yep. So, uh, what do you think guys, let's get yep. right into yep. it. Let's, uh, you know, stay tuned and uh, let's jump right back in. See you in a minute. Alright y'all, so uh, I guess let's, uh, you ready? I'm ready. You ready to, to do this and use the destructions and see where we go? Yep. Hey, it's your printer, so... Uh, yeah, one thing right off the bat that I, I saw, Let's I saw. see how this, how, how, this, how this goes together. Uh, so we can just put that filament off to the side and a little bit more work in the room. Right. Righty, righty, righty. Right. We've already verified that our list of parts are uh, here. Yep. Even though we feel like there are some things missing. We'll find out real quick. And, yeah. And, uh... So the first steps, we want to take our uh, extruded pieces and uh, connect them to the base. Now you've got a couple of different. Yeah, which extruded sets. ones? So there's 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 longer and shorter ones. So we want we want the long ones because these will be for our vertical axes. Okay. And uh, we want to start with those, and then we need four pieces of M five forty five. All right. M five by forty five is what we'll need. Well, we're gonna go ahead and dump this out. You know, and I'll, I'll, I'll commend, um, you know, Creality on this one. Um, yeah, they did a really good job of making sure their bags are labeled. Yeah. So you know and exactly the, what's going where. And the instructions, if you're making instructions for anything, this is the proper way to make instructions. Yeah, y'all, you know, please pay attention to them. Some other things what they do, don't don't follow that path. Um, other things, sure, why not? Like wiring, for instance, don't follow them. Yeah. Um, because yeah. they wire things backwards. So you wanted four? Yes. All right, cool. Well, that's nice because that's all that comes in the package. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we don't have to hunt for that Smart. because if, I know you all can't see this. Well, I'll walk around there and show you. Um, if you look. I could always zoom in and show you, but what's the fun in that? If you actually look at the package that's on there, good luck with that. You can actually see the writing, where it actually kind of shows you what's in the package. So, y'all, if you're developing a do-it-yourself kit or something like that, please continue to put what it is on the package. Because I can't stand, for example, what is it, the TV mounts? You put a TV mount together, it says, use A. It doesn't tell you which one A is. So you got to go, what is this, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and you have to go follow the directions? Yeah, that doesn't work that way. I'm holding Yeah, he's got it. You're almost just hanging off the end. That's what most people do. So, so yeah, I was going to say this. Let's, table. let's try that. This is one way that I do uh, it. Lay it flat. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Lay it flat. Like this. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it hangs you built off the, the table side. for a reason. It's hanging off the back side here. So now, one thing I want to be you should be very it's careful. The top is and bottom they're side. They're not right? the same, or they're not the same on both sides. And they're not and then, labeled. And then also the top and bottom. And they're not labeled. So very, very clearly, they need you to see where the holes are. So also shorter, um, shorter and a longer, right? You know, Creality did a great job with their instructions, with their package labeling. But it did a terrible job labeling their freaking uh, their, their extruded here. aluminum. You see here, this one's got two dots, and this one's it's like this. It's like no, no, no. You had it right. Okay. You had it right. But this is flipped inside because these two dots on here are on the inside, and then these two dots are even on the bottom. And then this was actually the what I was talking about earlier was the lead screw. It's in this little little sleeve. I don't think yours came in a sleeve. No, it did not. Mine was already assembled. I think I think this is mainly in there because it came inside one of these extruded aluminum pieces. Yeah. So mine already came on there because mine yeah, was already, already attached. Yeah, right. Mine was attached to the um uh, the gantry. So or the base mount, I should say. So one way that I look at it is it's very clear to see which side the Okay. Motherboard is mounted on the electronics box is in the front left. Um, if, if it's facing you, um, that's kind of what I use to judge my direction. With some of these, 
The pictures are, I mean, I appreciate the pictures, don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes it's a little bit harder to see those smaller details. They're trying to put so much on the page. It's assembly by color. They, yeah, they have to put a lot on the page. Um, but they do a couple zoom-ins to help you out with, you know, which ones which ones should be placed in certain positions. So you can see that the one with the two on the bottom should be directly above your uh, electronics case. Okay. So, so like, uh, one one thing that I'm seeing, okay, so what, what he means by this, we have a side that has a longer and a shorter. So when we say longer and shorter, if you notice here, you have... Here and here, you have two poles, one here and one here. And then this side just have shorter. So shorter being one at the bottom, longer being one at the top. So I'm noticing that also according to their mm -hmm. their their pictorial. Yeah, they don't give you an exact length. They just say that it's less yeah. so than this one. Right. So. All right. So. Uh, there we go. If we're looking at it, what are those screws again? M they're right here, From here, let's see. The, they're M forty fives. So from here, M five by forty five. So this guy go here. Correct. Perfect. We are <laughs> using the the cheater sticks. This yeah, one, yeah, correct. they're gonna make it easy for you. It should go right up underneath. Now, this is the benefit of having a table with these things because we can go right up underneath the side of it and actually connect it that way. I know y'all can't see exactly what's going on. It's hard. It's hard to see. The easy way is to yeah, I'll go all the way through, and then you can, if you place it, they've already like got the threading for your screws. So right now, I'm just gonna catch it, and then we're gonna switch to the next one. Just because I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna show you a trick. Never mind. I'll let you finish this, and then I'm going to show you a trick because you'll learn a lesson off of of uh, it's going to help you eventually with your bed leveling. And then we'll finish off the other one. And then you should always do a double check back once you're finished to look to see if your work matches. Just to just to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And immediately it backfires. Or <laughs> immediately the, comes the hole is supposed to be inside. Alright, well then you take it off if you put it on wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we got it flipped. They were in the wrong directions. These holes are supposed to be over here. On the on the inside. The inside. Yeah, so we had we had to turn around. So you hey, look, let's let's turn around and let look. Cause like like I said, okay. I'm a noob. This helps noobs to see what he's talking about. So you have your two hole, your two screw screws right here. These are supposed to be on the inside, based on the directions. So pretty much, just gotta flip the extruded aluminum around. Um, once we you can flip the extruded aluminum around, we'll be good. I'm actually going to move them a little bit. Actually, I'll just do it with a camera. You can come over here? Yeah, okay. There it is. Zoom in a little bit. I mean, I'll be out of frame for a little bit. doesn't matter. Right? So one suggestion I would make once you get this uh, assembled correctly, I would take a paint marker and mark with a paint marker where it's supposed to go when you have to take it back apart. When yeah. you want to make, when you want to do, uh, when you when you want to do um, upgrades. Got it. Come up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That sounded like a definite call on that one. Yeah. And always use a table. You can use a table, um, like what we're doing here, to, um, you know, have it hanging over the edge. Yeah, what are you, you say we use the cheating sticks, but these aren't the real cheating sticks. No, the, the cheating sticks are the, are the electrical ones. Yeah, that's in the backpack. I, I didn't want to bring it out because I wanted to make this a little bit. Then you should have used these. It would been five seconds. No, nah, it's too late. It's too late. However, there's a tube for every job, and if you know what the job is and the tube you need, get the right tube. Yeah. 
The longer Work smarter, the, not harder. The longer arm is just easier for me. I will say that it's harder because I can't get into a certain angle and use it as a lever arm to twist like normally you would. But it's a it's a T grip. Just grab it like a T grip and just twist it like you would normally. Now, sure. what we can do, we can bring them around and actually show them. Yeah. Or we can move it to move it over here. We can swap this. You want to do the others? We can do the other leg on this side so we can actually show them kind of what we're talking about here. Hopefully. Oh, sorry. Hopefully. <laughs> Tells me I gotta go on a diet. Let me join the club. I'm not You're all like three pounds. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's all in my stomach right here. Yeah, lucky you. <laughs> right. There you go. And like, uh, we call that the work 15. Can we verify that the holes go... Sorry. Okay, these... The, these. Yeah, they're on the bottom. Do they go this yeah. way or that way? Well, it, it's the same. Oh, it doesn't... On this one, it doesn't matter as much because the orientation, no matter which way you put it, since they're even on the holes, as long as the holes are on the bottom, that's fine. So this is my Vanna? Vanna White? Well. <laughs> well, never mind. Y'all don't sue us. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, we'll be. Pretty sure else, if they bro. say, like, don't sue us, that's, that's like, you can't. Come on. <laughs> yeah, not not allowed at that point. It's like the get a jail free card. You Same know? logic as don't tase me, bro. Right, exactly. <laughs> it <would> not work. <laughs> that man's got tased. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, out of spite even. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so that's so those two pieces. That's that's we, we, step we told one. everybody don't take us serious. Yeah, that's, that's we, we we did we did actually you know thoroughly <laughs> mentioned that at the beginning. That's called a disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a warning label. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're oh, more serious when it comes down to work, shoulder. but, you know. There you go. On occasion, I guess. You know, not all the time. Way, you might want to slide to your left. Yeah, you know. You he's go. over here thinking he's a freaking window. Yeah, that's okay. Can you use Yeah, we got you now. Your father was not a glass maker. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could have been a glass maker. Could have had tin on the glass. But you, but you ain't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This okay. is true. That's fair. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Stained glass is a thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tinted windows, yeah, you're right. I think they gave you an extra bolt. Yeah, they did. There's one sitting right there. So they gave you an extra... Just in case you lose one. Or well, in case they cheated somebody else and they didn't get one. It's <laughs> probably what happened. I'm pretty sure... It's what we call a Chinese. <laughs> I have like a whole bunch of extra bolts and, and screws and nuts and all that stuff. And washers that are from this that are just sitting in the toolbox. All right, uh, I think we're... Okay, so that's step one. All right, so step one done. You want to move back this way? Or yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll hop over there. We're going to have to put the top on, too. It'll be nice for them to yeah. see. Okay, so fine. now we're actually at a, at a, at a good angle for them. All right. so, now, so now it looks like it's the mounting of the power supply. Okay, and I'm assuming that the... Mount the power supply before we put the, yeah. the top gantry It says on? step two... Step two is to mount the power supply. And I guess you could do this at any and, point. And the, and the screen? And the screen. I guess you could do these That's at any neat. point, to be honest, because they don't really affect anything, and they're only getting plugged in with the electrical. That because if you look on the bottom. at the moment. Yeah. It's, I, it's just because this is part of, it's connected to your gantry. So which which is nice. I'm going to be honest with you. For me, yeah. it would make more sense if this was flush with the bottom, because you could use that as a, like a square to make sure that you have a 90 degree angle with your gantry and your bottom bar or your base bar but I don't think it goes all the way to the bottom no yeah I'm, things are going to change I'm yeah. just figuring out how I'm going to change yeah, well, we, know, we know buttons so, so so hear me out let me show you something you can actually take this take this apart and there's a print that someone has developed where they have a place for the fan, they have a place for your um, mm -hmm. all of your boards, and it is actually underneath. this way. Yeah. So it fits underneath, so it looks like there's a whole platform um, under. I don't think. You see what I'm saying? It's like the yeah. under five. Yeah. 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 So it'll, it'll make it look like a whole bottom base uh, foundation. Okay. Isn't, so, that, isn't that where they put <clears throat> the one for the Ender Three V Two? The the pro the V two pro no, no 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 that's where I put my no I took mine off 
mine came like this too. But no, the V2 came, comes with it just like this as well. The, the the biggest difference with the V2, instead of, because they're both Ender 3s. What screws do you need? Um, the big difference between the version 2 and the 3 Pro is your um, LCD screen. You're going to get a more advanced M420. screen. Uh, and the then your motherboard. Your motherboard is going to be more advanced. So M420. those are two key differences. Yeah, I'm looking for About $60 difference though. Exactly two. Was that the right one? Yeah. yeah exactly. If you lose those, you're screwed. Maybe you only get exactly two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, and then uh, the uh, where's your? Um, they're right there underneath the. Okay. Not even seeing where this is at. I think it goes all the way up here. All right. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt, guys. Man. Come down. Yes, I think it's. This with mine is already pretty yeah. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna hold. I'm gonna hold off on making too many hasty comments because I'm not a fan of this. I just don't like where the power supply, where the power port is. To be honest with you. Yeah, because you're absolutely right. This is like short. Like, oh, I think we have it upside down. You think so? Yes. Why would it be because upside down? Here's the uh, here's the cable. The cable's down there. So yeah, you're fine. You're good. No, because the... We can't go the other way. Too short. No, I'm saying this gantry, this this brace is upside down. Okay. No, because the thing is that if you did it upside down, it would push the, the, the screws out the direction. Uh, it, I think it'll be fine. I think he's saying that this should flip this way and because this whole thing when I'm, should be down yeah. here. It should be down here. Well, yeah. you know what they say, I'll do things three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three times. I, but I think you'll, I think you're gonna see. And I'm gonna show you on here once you remove this. Why I also think it's because of how these are screwed on that side. On this side, you can see it looks like it was machined, like it was an, a bigger opening. On the other side, there's no machining. It's like it's not supposed to be entered in from that side. Mm. Does that make sense? Do you see that, Ed? Because mm. you can even see it. Like it's just a, ever so much. It was definitely screwed in from like whenever they tapped it this side. So. Oh, you think it goes underneath? Like no, 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 no. No, no, no. We it's still, gonna, the, it's uh, still gonna be the same. Like, it's still gonna be the same and it's gonna connect under here. This but needs this yeah. needs to flip. Degrees. Well, we know Ed will be very good at building um, his gantry. I've taken my, yeah. Taking my gantry apart a lot of times. This is, uh, the funny thing is, is I haven't even told him the, the trick that I was like. Well, but you know. The but it thing, needs to be completed for that. Yeah, but the thing for me is, uh, it's good to uh, do it this way because what happens when you want to change something? Exactly. Yeah. If you don't understand, you know the. You know exactly falls. where your bolts yeah. are. Yeah. So for me, I think uh, it's a, it's a good. It's not bad. Just because I think everybody's went through this in the beginning that started with 3D printing, you know, they just forget those things. So you see, yeah, I'm gonna. Nothing. So you can kind of see how this looks like it was definitely machined in from this side, as opposed to this side looks like it would. It's like the back end. So that's how you would. That's how I would tell um, that this would be where this, the bolt mm. goes in, and then since yep. it needs to be inside. But it's still higher than this one, like we were, like we were saying. So then, that's perfect. And when I say this one, I mean the screws on the left side, like the screw holes on the left, the left side of the game. They're interior. Right yeah. They're interior versus exterior um, screw holes. Yeah, and there's a multitude of prints that you can have or make after the fact. Um, to kind of either, you know, help with the aesthetic, the look of your printer, make mm -hmm. it more custom, or, you know, if you're more practical, like kind of, I mean, we are, I would say dust covers because tinkers. these are things that, yeah, tink, yeah, tinkers. I even have like stabilization, um, um, mounts on my Z because I just am not a fan of how. It is moving freely, so yeah, that's a little bit better. better. That's why whenever you first put it on there, I was like, 
Some ain't right. Except Joe. <laughs> and, then, and then we think that, you know, once we really get, you know, Ed going on this, we'll have him switch over to a new, brand new PEI bed. Like you'll hear, like I had to do, you know, later videos. Yeah, you should. The PEI bed is a, is a, should be a given. Because the thing is, you know, you think it's already sprayed with a PEI coating, but I guess it's not. What is that? Yeah. Well, the fact that it's it's flexy, I think, is a is a problem. It's like silicone, silicone, like it's it's covered in steel. Yeah, which is like to me. Because mine was a metal bed underneath the underneath the silicone. Pet G, and and you and you had problems when it was Pet G that you were printing, right? Yeah, still do. So the Pet G, well, I guess you were only you went straight to Pet G. Yeah. The Pet G like just didn't does not want to like come off of it, and and I hate that with a passion. The PEI spring steel board just helps with like um, getting it off of the print bed. So yeah, so this looks a lot better. The other time when we had it, it was like hanging up, like up a full like three, four inches. So we can go ahead and put the, like, what was it, to put the screen on next? Yeah, MX8, yeah. I mean, excuse me, M58, M58. So this screen, M58 the LCD right screen, it goes on the front, the same side as this guy. Four, so we got four screws for that. Uh, it's it's funny if they would have actually put the screw holes on the other end. You could have put it next to the, the um uh the um this guy the USB and just taken the ones out from the gantry. So. But you know, again, another another um thing that was just left awry. Yeah, I think a lot like. We, we go back and forth between a couple things. If, if like if I was the engineer and I was the one making this, I go back and forth back and forth between a couple ideas of how do I make this cheaper? And that was kind of the whole point of making it a hobbyist printer. And how do I make it cheaper? But also how do I make it more uh, reproducible? Yeah. Um, um, so we're wanting to we're wanting to get this in the hands of as many people as possible. How do I make this as cheap as possible and as Control my control sets being exactly the same. So open source friendly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, a key thing too with it making sure that that's mounted correctly because if this is too high, the power supply is too high, then your connection for your power is going to block your your bed from moving back and forth. Like this piece here, I don't think I don't know if you can really see no, it. No, they can't see that. Yeah. That's head's in the way. Jordan. Yeah, it's okay. He, he's just putting on the he's putting on the piece then. This piece right here. I don't think it Kind of, maybe not. I'll show it yeah, to you in a second. It. Yeah, I can see it a little yeah. bit. And it's definitely, I think it's a good idea that they made it yellow because it's very distinct, different from the other plugs too. Like it's a this high is voltage. Your power. Yeah, yeah, this is, and it's, yeah, it's definitely. It uses, it uses the standard high voltage, uh, high voltage cabling, um, which I guess you could think it's high voltage. It kind of is. Yeah. Um, but it's always the last cable you plug in, and we'll go over that when we do the mechanical ins uh, mechanical installation. Electrical. Electrical. Yeah. We're doing mechanical now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoops. So, actually, you can probably oops, you can probably even plug in the monitor now. Well, do we want to leave that for the? Yeah. Probably. Oh, you're right. That's fair. Electrical. We'll leave that for electrical. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um. So next uh, is uh, so we at step three. And now we need um, 09, which is the, the switch that is on oh this boy. side. So the Z axis, I'm not sure. The Z axis limit switch? Yep. Uh -huh. yep. We need this, this little guy. bad boy right now? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Right, go. Looks good. Oh, you can yeah. see that? And let's see this flame filament out of my face. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited see. actually. I, I, I think I'm helping too much. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. use just right uh, the handle. Yeah, there you go. And just point it down and twist it down. There it goes. So they can watch what you're doing. Alright. So everybody gets a front row seat to. So uh, yeah, we're uh, adjusting these uh, nuts that are tied to these uh, cap screws so that we can uh, place it inside this slot. And then what that allows us to do is we uh, loosen them up just enough so that they can tighten and turn um, from the 
um, 12 o'clock, 6, uh, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock to the, um, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock position when we get it secured correctly. And the way those, those T, the T bolts and nuts work is when it's it, when way. you start tightening it, it'll catch and it'll do that twist that he's talking about. It'll slide inside the T rail. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, yeah, I'll hold it here. It should be this way. So, yeah. So this, there was. This end should point this way. Right. So there was a couple. So this is the, this is the switch that needs to hit, and when it's going down, this is what it's, you're going to hear that click, and you're going to get used to that click. Um, but one thing that uh, I think you should note is making it even with your gantry on the back side is is important. But also, you're sitting there. There's something a notch right here at the, on mm -hmm. the front. Uh, right. So it should be sitting even, and if you don't have it even. You can kind of bring it up a little bit. The only thing that this is going to hurt if you bring this up is you're going to take bits off of your height, that max print height that you can do. But I'm willing to give back on my print height as long as all my layers are even. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, I mean, you can go down and flush to the bottom if you want to, but it's it's really up to you. And then, like and, I said, uh, this, it's a work in progress and uh, the... Uh, if you want to set it, set it level, then you can play with it from there. Well, set it level and adjust it, because like I said, I'm, I'm one of those people, uh, you know, maybe I should have lived in the show-me state, so I'm hard-headed. I like to do everything by the uh, instructions and then uh, curse about it, you know, and get all the little special symbols up above my head. <laughs> you know, when, I was, when somebody said, hey, have you just done that from the beginning? But, you know, hey, sometimes you have to learn the hard way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna mess with that soon. Okay. Let's just say for now it is it's fine as is. You change your print bed to a glass bed. It's not the same width as this. Like this is as thick as like I'd say maybe like a little bit more than your well probably like a as thick as a, a credit card. Just about right. Yeah. Um, your your glass bed is gonna be like a millimeter. Yeah. So you gotta like rethink your Z height. You gotta rethink um, a lot of stuff. how how your stop works. Otherwise. Glass shattering, you'll notice that. I tell you that much right now. That that failure is not what you want. You don't want to have a, a print fail, and you don't have a print bed anymore because so you can't do another print period. Be considered an epic fail or an epic success. Uh, Either no, one, depending think, on what you're going for. And that would be my <laughs> biggest fail if I saw that. All right, so it looks like now we will need uh, two pieces, uh, M4 by I believe 18. And we will also need the, I'm assuming, the Z-axis. What's that? The Z-axis uh, stepper. And 4 by yeah. 18 you know, right here. Z-axis stepper. And let's see what is asking so us we're on to the do. So I'm assuming... I don't want to, I don't want to step on your toes. <laughs> we should be on this side. So I'm assuming this way. Or not? Are you right? Okay. And then we also need the threaded, uh, um, I guess the threaded rod. Threaded rod's right here. Okay. Uh, we could do that one after this, though. Uh, so we, you probably want to mount the the motor first before we put the rod through, because then you'll you'll need to tighten. Yeah, tighten your. And uh, also, and uh, move. these are not cap. These are not cap screws. They're uh, flat flat heads screws and you can see they're at an angle so uh, that's a little bit different from what we've been using in, yeah and the, the other ones were round I didn't I didn't say it but uh, we also had round head screws yeah and they had a washer on them too yeah. but this one's designed so this plastic piece this plastic piece will mush and that's what actually holds it to the the base and that's why it's angled that way the clamping force. No, we go this way. No, you were right. They go this way. Okay. You can't get over it. Why does it get sure? Yeah, take me. I'm going to do it. Okay. Well, that's tight. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Over here? But then again, I pulled my space right on. Uh, it, does, it is. Let's, I can let's see the holes. Try the other one on the other side. I can see the hole. I can see all the way through. Oh, it's caught. Okay. It's cross-threading. 
I think it just it's just longer than I thought. Yeah, I forgot I pulled the, the, the space right on mine. That's why mine's not as... Yeah, it's going to move, though. And we just basically... St you, so some things you will want to secure, like snugly, uh, I would say, uh, like, almost torque it. Oh, we may need to move other, other things you probably just want to just get secure Finger enough. Because you will be making adjustments on those, like... Yeah, just because like this. Yeah. Actually, even here we we'll probably want to just a little bit because we're probably making some minor adjustments. Or yeah. you good? I think this one doesn't on on stock. We we might not have to make much, but it's good okay. for now. It's good for now. There's and then your, uh, so we'll take the uh, threaded rail. Threaded. Uh, do we need to loosen? No, there it goes. We're good. You yeah. might need to loosen them. Um, loosen them and see if it fall. It drops down. You might need smaller than that. Okay. Maybe this one. Yes, this one. Mm -hmm. So, bottom. so what I'm screwing? It's bottomed out. Yeah, it seems yeah, to have bottomed out. It. Yeah, I can hear it. This one's one that. But like thing. you said earlier, this is the first time I've seen a Ender Three anything. That showed up with the gantry not assembled. Yes, no, we still got this. Uh, yeah, that's, but that's, that's, that's fine. So that's still, fine, yeah. Oh. Uh, Alright, so next we will need two pieces M416 and we will need the gantry, one of the gantry pieces. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, right. it looks like we will need the. Um, M4 PMS is the best to feed. Uh, this a belt tensioner. It's actually that's your uh, your right y-axis te tensioner. Oh, you, oh, I was pointing at this thing. Okay, yeah. no, you're right. Yeah. No, it's that's this this whole piece. Okay. Okay. Which this is gonna be fun putting on there. So that's like extr extruder, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Extruder with a stepper motor on it as well. So I'll show you real quick. Your, this is your plastic extruder that comes with there. It's already mounted with the motor for the for the Y axis. Uh, it is only a single gear and it is plastic, but this thing has from 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 the, the vendor. It's a bit a bit tight. tight. Yeah, a bit tight. But we'll we'll adjust that. That or you'll be like me and I had to remove the entire spacer. Yeah. That seems like that's gonna be one. One thing that you'll notice actually immediately. Is this this little bar or this little hole here? That's actually where the lead screw goes. So this lead screw for the Z is going to go through there. This is going to go straight through there. I'm assuming this is the back. Yep. So I'm assuming it goes. Wait a minute. Uh, let me say back. Bottom. Right. Is that what you meant? So it be this way or this way? No, no, you have right. Yeah, right. This way. Because see here, machine. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. It's machine. Yeah, the open. same. The same thing that. Yeah, the same way. The same ex explanation for like looking okay. at the other. So ones. you needed two more. Yeah, it looked like it's gonna be. We'll actually use uh, four of those. That should be three. And there's one more. Like, it's a small so they one. give you an extra one. Oh, maybe it's this small one. And there's always a. Uh, the crowd is always helping to support the the, the random parts bin. Remember. That's why they give us five. Need to wash it for you. Wait a minute, we are not used to there we go. It's not, it sounds like it's not catching. They're not low the screws aren't long enough. What did we say? Did I say you right? And for 18s? 16. 16s? That's what those are. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't have it lined up right now. Let's see. Oh, that's for mounting this to there. Yeah. Okay. That's what that is. That's not mounting it to the actual drive. Oh. Yeah, no. That's what these are. Oh. Wait, are, is, is there another bolt? Or another, uh... But this piece is the top piece. 
Let me see that other piece. Link film. Yeah, yeah, you can already see. Grab that other one. I want to show the difference real quick. So, you can already see the difference. You can see the top holes. Like, that's one piece. This is definitely where you're putting your uh, gantry together. And then this has three holes, like a small one and, 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 and another. You know, they get a little bit bigger there. And then there's like three more holes on this side. As opposed to the top gantry. Oh, right only has yeah. two on both sides. That's part of your use. So what we're putting together now is it should be Y. Yeah. To the, this piece. That you yeah. yeah. To this piece, to to this extruder piece, which I'm gonna be honest, the orientation is, I am not entirely sure because you see these machine parts. And according to here, it does say back. We're in the instructions. See, it says back, and then here. Okay. Y'all, we, like we said, we're, we're technical folks. We don't really follow directions all too well. So, it's kind of like outside of our realm to follow these directions. I just see two, I just see two screw holes that look like it's supposed to be, you know. But. Huh, can I see that picture one more time? You can, you can check it too. So uh, I'll see. This is so this is this piece. It looks like that. That's the orientation. Yeah. Why is it like that? What's going on? Yeah, you look at the picture too. You see the holes are like behind the 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 uh, uh, wheels. Oh, that's the bottom rail. The bottom rail supports one, right? And then the top rail supports the other wheels, right? So it slides through there. That should only be one. It should only be one. What does the second piece go? That's that's on the, the solid piece. The top. Because the, the one piece needs to move without the top. I'm just looking at it and it, it looks it looks kind of strange on this picture. Um, I just, I want to show you guys too. This, um... I guess it's hard to see with the. Wait. Um, hard to see with the light. Never mind. So this picture right here, kind of confusing on the orientation, but um, your this is your okay. extruder, this is your motor, Bingo. and you just need to figure out how it fits sideways here. Because I was putting it on the inside, it shouldn't have been on the inside. It should be on the outside. That's Bingo. the problem. But you saw what I was trying to think. I was like, why is that not working? I, I get what oh, you meant. That makes sense, too, because it, they give you room for your for that roller. Um, yep, so it's just like that. Yeah, so it sits flush. So, y'all, right there. So it sits on the outside of that rail. Yeah. Um, so the nut actually sits inside the gantry piece. So it actually locks in. If you hit that piece, it won't go any further down because it locks itself into place. And then you just drive your screws through. You're done. Yeah, that makes sense. Glad I could be of some service. This is why we keep Nick. Yeah, that's why I'm around. Here, slide over actually. So they can... I can help maintain your server and help you follow directions. Is the other side have the same thing? Similar. Should be a notch for that to go through. No, it does not. Because the screws are hitting on the. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Are the screws not long enough? Oh, we're going from the wrong way. Got to come from the inside. So That's what the hole is uh, for. Okay. There's an extra hole on the outside. Yeah, to go through. This is where we attach it. But you put you put your your Allen wrench or your Allen key through the hole to, to, to uh, tighten it. Makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. My ass. Makes perfect sense too. It don't make sense. Exactly. Shit. Yeah, this is the over explanation thing. Is all that is. Okay, how about I do this? I make this the bottom. There you go. 
We will outsmart the, uh... I'm just trying to hold it with one hand <laughs> and then get out of the way, you know? The mm -hmm. hardest part about putting this thing together is, like, trying to at least show everybody else. Yeah. Is it even catching? I don't feel like it is. Oh, we could have. We just got to be patient. Bring it back just a little bit. We swear we know what we're doing. Yeah, I swear I've done this before. I'm gonna be honest. This whole piece came as one on mine. That's why I was. That's what I was asking earlier. Yeah. You know, once the also. Yeah, no, that felt. I feel it. It's like the like I've set one of these things together before. Yeah. The regular Ender three. And this whole piece that we're putting two, together. And there's all one piece. Yeah, this whole piece that we're putting together was already a piece. You pull it right out of the box and stick it right on top. That's why you see all the videos. You never really see a video of it's an entire kit that you, that's why I forgot to put together. Like I said, I'll save I'm you a little bit of money. Up. Yeah, exactly. Not going to tighten this all the way because uh, we may have to make some adjustments. Mm, I don't know about that one. I don't think we'll this make any adjustments there. That'll probably make no, be pretty this solid. One. This, the, the gantry is different. But, but I mean, this here, if it's not uh, leveled, then the whole thing can be off, right? Mm. So I got the Z stabilizer, though. Yeah. Okay. But that's also, you know, unless you have to rewire your, uh, you know. Heard that. Oh, Heard that briars on the snap. You stripped it, uh, hey, yeah. No. Oh, well. Okay. They have an easy out for a reason. That's good. No, I just, we need a, they make a torque okay. one. So oh, now that's yeah, attached. Yeah. We're good. What's next? With a circle on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was step five. We can go to step six. That piece here. Oh yeah. And also we have the the uh, this this piece and this piece. So this is gonna be fun. Okay. I like fun. I actually remember this as being the most difficult part because you want to attach this piece, which will also be, you know, kind of hugs this, right? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Also while attaching this, fit this on the middle of the gantry piece, and then also try, it's like you're doing two or three things at once almost. But we can kind of be smarter because I'm just not gonna let you struggle like that. Okay. And we'll put this, we're gonna put this piece on first. Um, Why would you put it on first when you have to? Because it'll slide, it'll just pop right on the top and just roll right down. Actually, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah about that? No, opposite. you're right, you're right. How, how do you insert a cube and all right, and then you put the, you put the other down the other end. Is that... Do you yes. going the right way? Yes. No. So this is your front. So a key, a word of thumb, the... Uh, QR code. QR code, that's your front. QR code. And the extruder is pointed to your ceiling. So you'll see it right here, and that should be pointed up. And then this just slides right on in. Boom. And then this should slide. Now this is confusing, actually. What's the orientation of that? Single wheel in. But like this? Yeah. It's got, uh, look, look right here. You have the bracket hole already. It's got the bracket hole pre-cut for it on the back, on the other side. The net. Other side, other side. Yeah. Ah, right right I see net. what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So it'd be that single wheel. Single wheel on. Yeah. Hey, what are you talking about? So it's that you're way, like that, like but this? yeah. No, that doesn't feel right. That's what it looks like in the picture. There it goes. I don't it like it. it. So no, no, no. Through. So if you no, it's only it's only it's, it's a, a it's single wheel. So I guess I can't see what the the hot end looks like on there. Yeah, so it's sitting like this. Yeah, it's pulling. Okay, so I, I was looking at it backwards too. Yeah, like, like this, I believe. I see. Like so yeah, it's one of the bolts yeah, that's sitting yeah, in there. I see, I see, I see. Like that. Like that. And then you shoot. And then you bolt through? Yeah. yeah, here and there, right? Just yeah. single one single bolt all the way through. What bolt is it? Should be the same. Uh, M416. Yeah, same one. And then uh, we go through this way or the yeah, other way? This way. Okay. So we got one here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. 
I took this piece off and put it back on a few times because it never felt right because I had, I mean, inside, outside, it just never fit on this piece cleanly. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Now the fun part begins. He flips around, right? Because this should point oh, this way. Wait, actually, let me. Yeah. Because you want you don't want to tangle your wire too much. Oh, no, right. Keep one more, one more. No. Yeah. There it goes. Trying to align these pieces. Get your wheels in. Now, there's one side, one piece is very important here. Is why I'm going so slow. Is this lead st stabilizer, uh, lead screw, needs to fit in this brass fitting, and you were right in the picture, Ed. <laughs> it needs to fit in this brass fitting right here. Um, I appreciate the help, but I, and I'm, I actually let go, and it hasn't gone through, so I'll try to let now, it Now, before you drop it all the way through, do you want to put the belt on? That's your next step. We can put we can put the belt on afterwards, or we can put the belt on now. Do you rather have the belt, do you rather be hold, holding it where it's easier, or would you rather have it up on top? This says uh, the directions in step yeah. eight say take it all the way it, off. It wants it wants us to have it on there, but that's so that's how it fits. Let's put it, let's put it on here first because we have the belt the tensioner here, and it, it would probably be better for us to, to do that and not have to worry about tensioning on here because it has to go through the pl the same place that I said with the QR code. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. The same thing I was talking about with the QR code side here. The the belt comes around inside here and grips and this is where it will move and these are power grip belts yeah so nice and sturdy they attach to your hot end actually on the bottom here so we'll flip it this way all right take one side do you want to do this part Ed? sure why not i mean so it's hooking into here and it's we, and it lives inside the groove of your extruded. Do we need to put the this on first or not? Well, you can. I mean, it, oh, it, it honestly matter. depends. It depends. It's so probably easier to to run the line through. first before tensioning it. Tensioning, yeah. Yeah, flip it other way. The groove should be inside. Yeah. We probably could have hooked it up before putting the extruder on. But oh, that's. Actually, you don't have to like force it in there because it'll it'll just push back down. So you can. Oh, so we're making the first. Yeah, you made the first hook. Okay. Yeah, and it, and point point it. So there's two there's two schools of thought: pointing it in and pointing it out. Um, pointing it in, I did not have enough length on my belt. Pointing it out, I was just barely close enough. I think that you would need to get as flush as you can to that bronze piece as possible to be honest yeah yours is pretty on the ender 5 pro it's pretty it's short yeah it's pretty like exact on that yeah so you just wrap it up underneath mm -hmm. you gotta go underneath the wheels oh, there you go and then you'll put your tensioner on that end mm, yeah you might have to feed it through for under the wheels do you want to go ahead and put the tensioner on now we can put it on once he. Yeah, once we feel all the way through. Yeah, because what's gonna it's it, it's gonna be so much harder if you put your tensioner on first to get it around both both of the gears. So. Good, so the belt's yep. already gone right. through. It's underneath the, the wheels. Camera. I can't reach it from here. Up. Up. Right there. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we can. So you now can, we can actually have a conversation with you. So you can kind of see the belt. He wrapped it around. He's got it underneath the the wheels here for the hot end, 
and then now it's got to go underneath and around there's a there's a spot the gear for the motor there and then uh, and then it comes back and attaches to the hot end again the plate that the hot ends on just always make sure your teeth are, are facing down There you go, that actually was easier than I thought for you to get that there. Mm. I had to grab some pliers to get mine, because I tried to put them on the inside. Oh, okay. Try to go down just a little bit further. There we go, that's better. All the way to the brass. So, I don't want to tell people to tighten this as much as humanly possible, but when you're tightening it, it's, um, it's, it's giving your stepper motors more control. Mm. So, now, you might want to put your tensioner on there. Yeah, now afterwards. That reminds me, I probably need to tighten up mine too. Well, I don't think I can go any tighter. Why did we flip there? How did it flip? There we go. Right, so over. No, no, no. Gear should be down. The, the, sorry, teeth should be down. Just flip that side already. It's just, it's easy. Just, just hang up on one. I'm holding it. If you just want, it. you can let go with it with your right hand. Let's just do this. Right. So you want to do it this way? Yep. There you go. Good. There you go. That's better. There we go. That feels a lot better. Shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get a little used to it. It'll be fine. See what I'm saying? Let me see. It's, not, it's flush. See here? Where's my flush? Yeah, it should be free. Oh, no. Remember, we're going to. So, so what we're going to do is. We're going to tighten it up a like little bit. Like this one, I got it. Yeah, no, I see. It's about the same. I see what you're saying. It's, yeah. it's about the same. But we're going to really tighten the hell out of it. Yeah, right. We're going to tighten it so hard that uh, it's, it's going to pull that tight. Alright. So now you've got your tensioner for your axis, y axis. You don't want to slide over. You slide over. There we go. So this piece here should go on the end. Now I'm curious, so it's got the same T uh, nuts and uh, the bolts there. So it should just fit underneath this. But my slide thing is, is this is so tight already. There it goes. There we go. I can barely fit it through. And then from here, you can actually... Well, no, I think that doesn't look right. Can't go on the inside. Yeah. It can't go on the inside. That's going on the outside. It has to go on the outside. Okay. Well, I don't say it can't go on the outside. It may it, be they make you put on the outside. It's what it is in the dress truck. Oh, no. You know, that piece of paper we don't read? I don't need that. I don't I mean, need those thinking directions. Talking about like a Christmas time. Right, exactly. When you assemble the jug and jam. Big one. Yep. Yeah. And you have like, why do I have all these parts left? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's exactly right. They're like, man, I feel like and I should jump on this. Get, and anybody with younger siblings or kids understand mm -hmm. that magically when you put anything together, you get a bunch of extra screws. Like, wow. <laughs> How do we do that? The worst part is when you do that with a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> Swing set. <laughs> that too. <laughs> so I try to put a little bit of tension on here when I lock that first bolt. Just give it enough to where I can pull that through. Give it a little bit of love. Not too tight just yet because you want to tighten that other bolt. You don't want you want it to be even. So this piece actually, this was one, there is a print that I've made, that I didn't make it, but I, I Print. like, printed, mm -hmm. um, that you can put the bearings on and it exists, it exists in the same kind of capacity as this, and it, it gives you a screw, so instead of you unscrewing both of these and pulling and trying to screw back in, you can 
twist the knob and it'll pull the tension. Mm -hmm. Now granted, that makes it much easier for you to pop the belt, but it is what it is. Buy extra belts. Yeah, so am I skipping any steps now? What's the next one? Put it on there? Should be, uh, I think we finished seven. Yeah, I think we're past seven. Should be getting, I believe, this aligned. Mm -hmm. and we're done eight. We just did eight, so I'm let's see if we can't find nine. Sorry, as the Marine Corps of Math is not my strong suit. <laughs> um, so I think now we put it on. If yeah, now we sure. put it on the. Um, so again, the bar, this is the, this uh, is the barcode or no. this. Yeah, I keep QR code. Said, the QR, QR code, code is the is the uh, should be the front. You use your wheels to catch you on the uh, on the grooves of the extruded aluminum, and then you slowly try to catch that lead screw. And for me, it's a little bit easier. I start trying to, 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 to screw that in, and now you'll start to notice you can actually let go. It's taking control, and now it's sitting on there fine. Yeah. I can actually screw this. There's That's some prints. That's going to go right up on the top. Some prints that you could do that like are a knob on the top, so you can just do this so much easier, or you could screw this. I mean, honestly, you take this some grease goes with on you. Top, right? Our last piece, this will go. Yep, I'll go right on top. But actually, your last piece oh, is going to be your filament holder. Mm -hmm. Here's the top of the gantry that he's putting on there now. For filament. For filament. Not feelings, because we don't worry about those around here. Yeah. Uh, filaments. <laughs> and I think you need the spare, you, know, you got all your screws over there? Yes, uh, five total. Yeah. yeah. Tell you one thing, that's some dinky wear on him. You really need to be a little bit more. Uh, this is what my ender is on, man. This is what this is how my head. I didn't need change. Need to be a little bit more manly. Head. Yeah. It's a little dinky. Well, it depends on uh, like the uh, forces you're doing. Like maybe yeah. if you were using bigger uh, stepper motors and yeah, that doing understand. like uh, I don't know, maybe you was uh, engraving something or. Yeah. Something, yeah. like the new S1 Pro or what is the Ender 3 Neo now? Oh, I don't know about the Neo yet. Oh, the yeah. S1 Pro is the, the the one that I thought was the, their newest model. Don't, don't worry, I'll make sure we waste time at work tomorrow. We'll get the Neo. We'll look at the Neo. Um, <laughs> I mean, it might, it might it might join the the collection eventually of just randomness that we've bought. Yeah, it's dangerous. You keep showing me new ones, and I'm like, um, what? Hey, I will say this. <laughs> you know, if Ender's paying attention, we'll take we'll we'll, we'll, we'll take some uh, free 3D print. Uh, we'll take some 3D printer to help you uh, review oh, it for I'll you. I'll run it through, run it through its paces. We can break them if you want us to. Um, I mean that's that's the goal. Torture test, see if it breaks. See which ones print the best. Put some put some printers head to head. You know, and go from there. Like Ed's gonna put this one against his his homemade, you know, three D printer. See so which we'll one see comes out better. Looks, yeah. Yeah. It's already coming together though, feeling nice, right? And then you know, eventually I'll I'll put the Ender Five, and, oh. you know, again against John's. Uh, I think I'm the debauchery over there that he's got. I think I'm dumb. I what? think I put the belt tension wrong backwards. What? You're, you're fine on this, right? You just finished this? Yeah. What do you mean to put on backwards? Let's try to show you a picture of what I mean. No, it looks like it's on the right. Does it go on the back side? No, that's right. That's right. That's right. All right, now we've passed that little debacle. So, so uh, screws. We're gonna yeah, be proactive a little bit. I second guess myself. Well, maybe we're gonna be proactive. And then we need your the two screws, which are these, or should be. Are these the screws for? Yeah, I think those are the screws for that. So I'm thinking it goes. Uh, what are you attaching now? This filament holder up on top that goes right above, right over the top of it. Flip yep. it around. And it can only fit. It don't, since it's only one, it can only fit like that, forward or backwards. But remember the filament's coming around into here. So it needs to be this way. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Alright. I just need to know which way so I can uh, put the uh, locking mechanism back. Hey, oh, now that's, that's not a bad feature. I like that feature that you just go through a slot. And, uh, yeah. and then uh, actually missed the step. These are just, they're, they're just covers on the top of the, the corners. That's all they are. Oh, so that's covered. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to toss them on there. They're just desk covers. And where's the cat pieces? Right the screws are right here. The screws oh, and nuts okay. are right here. Right. So, we gotta fully put it together. You know, we did say it was a 
we'll do, we'll do the electrical one, you know, act, you know, uh, in the next episode. Because that one shouldn't take that. It shouldn't take almost a, an hour that we've been going at this one, so. Has it been an hour? Yeah, it's been an hour. You want to bet? I'm looking at the time while you're winning that one. <laughs> no, not that, that, that one. I mean, you want to make Yeah. It, it won't take out. All right, well, you know, we got to do the last little bit of mechanical installation. And, you know, John over here did a magical wardrobe change. Yeah. So, you know, that and it doesn't help. And, you know, forget to charge your batteries. <laughs> um, so, oops. Well, um, we were so close, though. So, yeah, we were so close, but yet no cigar. Um, which you have to really use one. Um, but that's here and right there. Um, so, you know, let's go ahead and put the final yeah. piece, mechanical piece on this thing, which is the, uh, um, what is that? It's a spool, spool, spool holder. holder. Yeah. So I imagine orientation is going to play um, a big part. So are we more so this way? Or should it flip around? Yeah, there you this go. Way. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, because the spool is going to come off and you want it to come down into the extruder on the back side here. Okay, and then that or do we need to yeah. adjust it or i would even put it as close as you as you can we're, to we're it. bottomed out to, yeah i think that would be okay. as, i think that would be fine um we're just doing a, a modified uh you know direct feed uh you know direct feed on this one can you see it really see if you had a direct feed extruder all you'd have to do is flip that around and point out the other direction like that. Oh, maybe not that high So, I mean, this would be great for a freaking drag feed. All you got to do is turn the freaking thing around. Yeah, that's to be honest with you, that's why in a lot of videos, um, you know, we talked about it already before is we want to go, we go, we went to like that other model with the, yeah, the, the bearings on it. The rollers, like the, they're nice because you can even mount it to a wall and have it feed straight down. But when, yeah. if he were to decide to change this hot end uh, into a direct, Dude, yeah. That's meaning he's taken this extruder, and instead of the Bowden tube going from here to here, it's going from the from the spool up here directly in. So, honestly, for the most part, uh, you should you should be trying to go to the direct drive eventually. Um, Bowden tube's not going to hurt, but this stock one, I don't know, in my opinion, isn't as precise as the Capricorn. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, which mine. which came stock on yours, right? Yeah, mine came stock. So, yeah. So I might have I might go check to see if I have extra Capricorn for you. But if you want to keep it, you know, stock, we won't touch it. Yeah, we won't we won't we won't start we won't touch the stock yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, see, we'll, we'll, we'll touch it later. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's I don't think a, a, you know you, you give me five minutes with it. We'll we'll change some stuff around. I don't All think right. an Ender ever truly is done. And no, three, never. Because there's so many different iterations, so many different you versions. Can, you, you can linear do. rail this thing, and can, then yeah. maybe it's okay. freaking sweet. We're actually so, slide at this point. I think I think this is okay. Yeah. Here, but yeah, you need the pieces uh, behind you. Yep, there's your bag. Bag. connectors. Fitting, oh. So the there's final fittings in there, and then uh, we'll call it a, uh, a video, and then uh, we'll jump over and do the uh, the electrical installation the next one. And uh, would it be uh, do you guys did you guys ever use any threaded tape? Nope. No. Okay. So I I'm gonna also be honest. Threaded tape will melt at that temperature. With with this uh, plastic right extruder. Yeah. Right. Uh, silicone. Uh, I've cracked the plastic extruder on my first one, and I had to take this piece off and on quite a bit. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I had to do it with mine already too. So it's definitely something you don't want. Yeah. But we're definitely have to get you to go to a, a metal. Um, extruder. Yeah, and you don't need to make this tight too yeah. tight, like because at the end of the day, you're going to yeah, want to be. You, able you don't to don't he man it. Um, you know, out of all things. Um, or, or you know. I think there was a I think there was a step in there it wants you to do because the way that this piece works mm -hmm. is if you pull up. Here, is it there locks in. There? Is there yeah, it's going to put there? the little. Yeah, show? you got the connector right here. Right here. Hold on, let me show. I'm going to show it on the camera. So what he's what he's messing with right here. Um, oop, oop. I'm looking and showing it to the wrong piece. Right. This no. little plastic yeah, piece on top, you, once you ins insert the Bowden tube, you need to be able to pull up and it'll tighten it on there. And what they have is a little plastic piece that... It's a banana clip. A little clip, yeah, you, that you push in and it forces, yeah. gives that tension. Um, honestly, if you run out of these, I've used a small little zip tie and it gives you the same width. 
yeah. and you just cut it short. But it's, it depends but on. But you can always buy extras of those things too. You Shoot, know? you can and, even print those things. And why do we call it a bowling tube? It's That's named just after the gap. It's the name it's of the, the name manufacturer. Of, yeah. Manufacturer, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know. It's technically the, the actual name is PTFE tube. That is the uh, the it's last. Just, that's what it's made yeah, out of. It's, yeah, it's the material it's made out of. Yeah. That that is the last step before we go into electrical. Yeah. So okay. you know, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, yeah. I I mean. You, so what do you what do you think about your? Uh, oh, well, your, let, let's see, let's get your your your. Um, uh, why don't you all come around here and we'll uh, kind of yap about it for a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and you know call it a little bit. Um, So I can right. say the the. So what is your impressions on the initial uh, initial assembly? Mind you, you were here for when we did mine. I would say that uh, from doing it for the first time, not um, assembling it, you it's some things that uh, you're gonna get wrong unless you just absolutely watch a few videos and really pay attention to the instructions. So you know, a few times we had to flip things around. Yeah. Um, Experience. Um, Even with me here, I put right. I put things on backwards. But the so. other thing that's the good, that's the great part, because now if you have to take something apart to replace something, you know to look for those things. So I think uh, even a, a new should be able to do this. Uh, it may take longer if you don't have help, but I think uh, even a noob can figure out most of it. So did you find anything funny about you know this kit or anything like that? Stuff that just wasn't wasn't right or wasn't to your mechanical, I guess, uh, um, uh, opinion? <laughs> well, I, I would say that, you know, maybe we it could have been um, the bed could have been wider. You know, maybe more, uh, I'd say, room for the bed. Maybe the um, the material they used could have been a little bit different. <laughs> Uh, you got to get a flatter it, table. Yeah. And it's, got, it's got a little <laughs> bit of a, a little bit of a wobble. Yeah. Well, so... One thing I like, I, I know we're talking, it's your opinion and, mm -hmm. and a lot of things. I, there's a couple things that when I was putting mine together, I also noticed. Well, first off, mine did not do that. Which is, I'm, I'm happy that this happens. Yeah. Happened because now we'll be able to address something that probably will happen because assembly is done by humans. Right. And sometimes QA does not catch everything. So this is actually a happy uh, incident. Yes, and, and and the idea behind that, too, kind of goes into a couple other checks that I was going to ask mm -hmm. you to do, too. Mm -hmm. it, it, one of them is with the with this as well. So, I mean, honestly, it sucks because the, the whole thing wobbles. But if I try to hold it steady, does this wobble? Like, up and down, too? Mm -hmm. Because, like, this is not supposed to move in the Z direction at all. Right. So if you get any, this, which doesn't feel like there's much wobble, yeah, but it is, a problem. it is a little bit. There's nothing no, there's a little, not yeah. that normal. Enough, enough to accept a little bit of vibration yeah. and, and not transfer that vibration to your print. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is I like, I like how the power supply is here, but w one thing I started noticing is a lot of people grab it from the gantry, and when you grab it from the gantry, you can effectively torque it too, like mm. back and forth. Yeah, your gantry's not and handle your Z is not going to be even, your prints are going to be failing. So that's something, too, that I would say look at. Mm -hmm. um, and you can honestly, handles for it. You can mess with this. Yeah, you can print handles with it. Another another school of thought is a dual Z, uh, but if you don't want to, if you want to keep it stock, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's, that's one thing. Uh, another one is, um, this is just a, I would even think that on mm -hmm. an OT side, this mechanical side, it's, it's an idea because the reason of a dual Z is to even out the flow, right? Mm -hmm. uh, on the motors on the bottom down here that we installed. Because like one of the main points that I can think of is here is not going to be as responsive as that side. But if you make this rigid enough and you put enough tension and get it tight enough, like it should effectively negate the need for a dual Z. Mm -hmm. um, but that's when you see, that's how you go check these. And if these wheels roll on their own, it's not, it's not tight enough. And you mm. need to tighten this piece in here, which actually has a spot that you can tighten with the wrench. So, like, those would be my top three things. Adjust, see your base, your gantry, and then this piece here. Those would be, like, those are the things that, on my printer, I had the most problems with. Mm. Yep, and soon we'll get your... Uh... After we get you printing on it, we'll get your uh, initial printing impressions, and uh, we'll go from there. Right. Yeah. And I'll say probably the other thing I will say is um, I don't back off my original statement. 
I can build this better. All right, well, we'll try. We'll play with that. Yeah. So here we go. That or we'll just add a lot of stuff to this. <laughs> I will do that first. Then I'll build it better. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, looks like we're on a linear rail eventually there, buddy. Yeah. Linear rail, direct drive, uh, you know, a couple other fun things. Dual gear. Dual bed, gear. Bed leveling, upgraded motherboard. A little bit yeah. of fun. You know, we got, we got, you know, we got a lot of stuff out of us. Yeah. So, you know, um, you know, that brings us to the end of this one. And, you know, next time we'll, uh, we'll focus on the electrical assembly on this thing. Um, and we'll walk you through that. So, hey, y'all, uh, you know, keep learning. You know, thank you. And, uh, you know, catch you next time. Catch you next time. Thanks, guys.